This is old camp. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we happen to be out at the beach here in Santa Monica, just south of Santa Monica here. Yeah, and uh, you know, we're going to do an abbreviated uh, editorial today because, it, you know, why in the world are more people out at the beach today? It's got awful warm and nice in Southern California. Where are they at? I don't know, but I mean, there are people here out at the beach. They relax. It's Sunday. I know, but still, when I was a young person, they were all over the beaches. You know, the housing that was behind us a while ago, we were back up all the way to those buildings on a weekend. Yeah, but this is, what, between Christmas and New Year's. Christmas and, and New Year's, we were all over the beaches. And we do have unseasonably warm weather. Which, which means they should be out today. As a, we're doing our, you know, our thing for Southern California beaches, come out to the beaches. This is, okay, we're gonna explain to people we're on the uh, south side of the San Monica Pier. This is this. And you is, can see it in back of us. Yeah, the north side is the Latino area. This side happens to be the non-Latino. I area. like how you say the north side is the Latino area. It is. If you go over there, you're going to see it's just wall. What happens is the pier is the area that where the Latinos. It's the same way we had turf wars when I was out here. I used to go up the the street and um, where we generally go to work. And basically, anytime anybody that was not a member of that area came over there, they basically, you know, well, actually, sort of tossed them out. Actually, you felt like you were in a different world. And part of the reason, I think, is because a lot of them drive cars in to go to the beach. Yeah. And the parking lot the parking for the beach are, is on that side. It's a big parking lot. Yeah. But still, the... And they're bringing their whole family down with umbrellas yeah, and with ice the, chests. There is no, there is virtually no umbrellas, no food, nothing over here. Yep. So, and this is very, there is surfing, but see the surfing over here is more or less unregulated because they're surfing out among people. And on the north side, they're not allowed to do that because that's... It's almost like this is the local side and that's the that's uh, visitor the, side. That's the visitor side, <laughs> but the local... And I say visitors is like not from the local west side. <laughs> yeah, we're going to explain. There is no laws that says the Latinos have to stay to one side or no, the other. No, there isn't. No, but they will. They cluster. Like this is the Caucasian side and the older people side and the other side. We're closer to where all the food, because the McDonald's and everything and all the food is on the other side, not on this and side. And this side is where the hotels and resorts are. Yeah, so it just tends to be more is by the way it is so but you know but you're free to come to any part of the beaches that's what they shouldn't understand nobody says because you're latino you're stuck to one piece of the beach or not well this is a public beach it's a public beach so come out we want to see southern california wants to see you on their beaches mm -hmm. because we've never seen lifeguard stations closed down in this area before we know we haven't and actually if you're seeing some of the people in back of us some of them do have sweatshirts on it's because even though it is they're not um, from this area Oh, is that what it is? If they're from this area, you're out from shorts and, and no shirts to, and no, you're out today. Oh, I know. This is wonderful. Well, because they thought it was supposed to be cold. And if you actually came out earlier, it was a little bit on the cool side. Now, of course, yeah. being in Southern California, I think of anything under 69 degrees is cool. Yeah. But the water's comfortable in the day. It is. It's really what nice. What people understand is actually in the winter months, the water is a little bit warmer than it is. So you can actually get, you know, we go, we've been out in the water today playing around up to our ankles, of course, but that's... Well, and actually, here's part of it is my favorite time at the beach is actually between, well, from what, December? Yes, when they... Then December the to, like, back. March or April when the weather's good. Yeah, the weather, actually, you have three or four days in a row where the weather is ungodly beautiful. I mean, the sun is high, there's no clouds, there's nothing, it's a great day to come out to the beach, so... Well, and then the other part of it is, is that... There's not as many people because after, they always think that um, summer begins after Memorial Day. Yeah. Is before that, you know, there's not as many people at the beach. They don't think about it, but it's great. There's, cause there you parking. almost have the beach by yourself. There's plenty of parking. You can come almost at any time. We had parking like one block from where we're standing. And there was oh, plenty yeah, of parking true. available. Yeah. So, so but I guess in, until next time, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to uh, www.montybubbles.net on the net or our commercial site, which is www.mbn.com. No, MBN News Video Web. MBN News Video Web.com. I know. We also have all the others. And too, we have so. montybubbles.co and MBN News Video Web.co. Okay, the only way you don't get to Monty Bubbles 
dot uh, mbnnewsvideoweb.com is simply to go to the dot net because everything else leads you to mbnnewsvideoweb.com. It all comes back to us. Anyway, Happy New Year's, Happy 2014, and we're ready for a fabulous year.